Hello and welcome! Today we'd like to show you some very useful microscopy equipment I discovered recently. In a more or less 40 year old book I came across this thing here. It looks a bit like an odd piece of modern art, but actually it's quite useful. This contraption is one of the strangest pipettes in existence, at least in my mind. This Franken pipette fuses three separate pieces of equipment needed for microscopy into one. Usually you need three pieces of glass. A glass slide, a cover slip and a pipette to transfer liquid in drops. The Franken pipette is all three things in one, so you save a lot of time when it comes to checking bigger samples. Its capacity is exactly one milliliter of liquid, so this is quite a significant amount when it comes to microscopy. When you take up some liquid, the liquid squeezes into a thin film within the internal chamber, which is around one-fourth of a millimeter thin. Unfortunately, when using higher magnifications, the depth of field is not very good, exactly for this reason. But up to around 100 times magnification, the Franken pipette is super useful. Its most interesting aspect is actually that you can displace or move objects within the internal chamber. When you softly squeeze the rubber cap, you can move the liquid and move or flip objects. That can be quite useful in many instances. You can get a better grasp of the three-dimensional structure of the objects you're looking at. Or you can get a nice overview of all the organisms within your sample. You just move it, micron by micron. After screening, you can transfer the contents of the slide, which, as I told you, is exactly one milliliter of liquid, on a slide or into another container, and you can isolate everything you desire and you want to examine closer. This makes the Franken pipette extremely practical. It comes with its own drawbacks, though. Because of its awkward shape, it's not possible to reach into sampling bottles. You have first to transfer some liquid with another pipette into a vessel with a wider opening. Then, when you use it under a microscope, it's not easy to handle. The neighboring objectives, or lenses, get in the way if they are bigger. It might be a good idea to remove them altogether from the revolver, or to space them out nicely. Smaller lenses are no problem though. But apart from these little inconveniences, the Franken pipette is an extremely useful piece of equipment. Even higher contrast modes, like DSC or face contrast, are usable. After use, you can wash the pipette super easily. Just suck in some clean distilled water a few times and move it back and forth. That should be enough to clean it. It is also possible to use acids or solvents. The pipette is resistant to chemicals. The Franken pipette, unfortunately, is no more produced in large numbers. The small German company making them does not advertise them at all. However, I just wanted to show you this really weird pipette. I have already some experiments in mind I want to do with it, and uh, yeah, I will let you know when I get some results. I will definitely bring it to Japan this year, and let's see what we find. There is a really interesting creature lurking in the sea around Okinawa. It's a swimmy tardigrade. It's a tardigrade that swims like a jellyfish. And I want to film it with this pipette. So wish me luck. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let's dig up some more dirt and let's stay curious. See you the next time. Bye bye.